Okay, first of all, I don't think the glasses are really working on camera. They, to me, look kind of cool off camera when I look at myself in the mirror, but I just watched the previous footage back that I felt like I needed to reshoot, and I... I don't like how I look today at all, but I have to film this for you guys because if you are cringing at yourself right now because you did an awkward thing, I'm going to tell you this uh, story that just happened to me and maybe it'll make you feel better. So let's just get into it. So I was getting gas at the gas station and the cashier was chatting me up. Uh, he was a young, nice, nice fellow, nice guy. And I just did the most awkward thing. First of all, he asked if I had any plans this weekend and I could have just been like, oh, you know, I don't know, not much, just chilling. How about you? But uh, no, I, <laughs> I had to be like, oh, I'm going to... Uh, a few, I have a funeral to go to um, because there, there is another funeral. Tragically, a cousin of mine passed away. I wasn't close with him, but still, it was a shock to the family. And anyway, so yeah, I, I had just actually wrapped up a previous funeral recently for my grandma. So anyways, he asks, I say I'm going to a funeral. He was like, it's always just not uh, what did he say? Something just like, yeah, those things are tough for the vibes or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, well, the last funeral that just happened for my grandma, we almost had a death at the funeral because, uh, yeah, this actually happened. My like great uncle lost consciousness during it because it was uh, Greek Orthodox and the priest, well, the priest wasn't Greek. He was like Ukrainian. It was like Orthodox, whatever. Okay. God, I can't get just like through a freaking just one story without it turning into an hour. So anyways, at the Orthodox church, they use a lot of incense with charcoal. And I think my great uncle might have had carbon monoxide poisoning, actually, because I was looking it up. It doesn't take that much burning charcoal to cause an issue. The priest was just, he kept continuing on. It was quite a while until he actually stopped. Like someone was literally dying. He got checked out. Like the paramedics arrived mid funeral. And anyways, he's okay. But it seemed like it was the incense that caused him to lose consciousness, whatever. Anyways, I told this story, not like that. I swear to God, it was quite succinct, not super succinct, but it was way more succinct than I just told you guys there about what happened. Um, I mentioned this to the cashier at the gas station, but when I said the word incense, I said, I said, incest. I said incest, but I immediately knew I said that. And, um, Let's just take a moment to cover our ears because this is my new therapy now. I said incest. <sighs> Obviously, it's very awkward. I went bright red, I'm sure. I could feel it that I was getting pretty hot. He was like, oh, incense. I was like, it Oh my God, so awkward. I knew I said the wrong word, but I don't know if this was like karma in a way. When this situation happened at the time, my mom, we were talking about it and she said incest. She didn't even realize, I think she had said it incorrectly, but she was like, oh yeah, no, I think it was like the incest that, you know, caused it, whatever. And I was like, incense. And um, I think I had a thought at that time of how awkward it would be to mess that one up to say incest. It didn't matter though, because it was just like in front of me, I think. I just remember thinking, <laughs> well, that's an awkward one. <laughs> she, oh my God, so awkward. She said incense. But I wasn't, I didn't show that on the outside, but I like had little thoughts like that. And then this happened to me. And then this happened. To me, it's actually not that bad. It was awkward. I just, I was like, I gotta get the hell out of here. Uh, and ugh, it's okay, it's whatever. I've been watching this guy's videos. His name is Julian himself on YouTube. And it's just all about embracing the awkwardness and whatever. And like, I'm already just socially anxious. I think I needed that to just be like, it's just silly. It's hilarious. It's just fun. Who gives a frick? Like, why am I stressing? I know why I am, okay, childhood trauma, whatever, but uh, in the gas station, 
I was waiting. They fill up your car for you. So I was like just standing there and the guy was filling it up for me. So just waiting so that I could pay. And I was like purposely trying not to go on my phone to just sit in the awkwardness, like just stand in the store. I kind of looked around. I kind of fake looked around a bit to do something because it was awkward to just stand in front of those guys. And I didn't care to like start a conversation. So for a while there before I went up to pay, yeah, I was like trying to do the thing of to just embrace the, to be in the moment and not just go on my phone. Like everyone is doing, everyone's just always going on their phones and to avoid and like dissociate from the moment to just, excuse me, stand there and be awkward and bored or whatever. And then I went to go on my phone cause I was like, I can't handle this, but I actually left my phone in my car so I couldn't. <laughs> And it's just like interesting how that build up like that happened. And then it was like almost done the car. I think I asked, uh, I was just being awkward because I was like, oh, I'm sure they know what they're doing, obviously. But I was just in case, like I'm always just doubting myself when things like this happen. And when it, it's just like, oh, maybe I'm supposed to go fill it up this time. Because I thought I saw the guy at my car when things went into motion and then I saw at the window that no one was at my car anymore so I was like am I am I supposed to go fill it up or he's like, oh no he's still he's doing it so I don't know if the guy left and like went back and I just thought it had maybe been done by then and then it was like ah I didn't need to ask I could have just kept waiting but I was just so, so uncomfortable to wait I guess and um <sighs> I'm just gonna re-regulate. I'm just gonna re-regulate the nervous system right now. Also, I have a bit of a mustache. Just wanted to let you guys know that's something that I want to take care of, but I'm not gonna let it stop me from filming. But I'm just sort of feeling awkward right now about how I look. Like my hair is a sucky, gross mess. I filmed an entire video ranting about my hair and the issues with my hair that I cannot figure those out, whatever. Okay, so that's gonna be coming out soon. But anyways, okay, just so um, let's sum it up. I said, I said incest. incest. I, said I said incest, incest instead, instead of, of incense. Incest. And I just wanted to let everyone know that because it's okay that I said that. And it's actually kind of fucking hilarious. And uh, so, yeah, I did that. I did that and I'm okay with that. I'm okay that that happened. I've accepted it and I'm moving, moving along. along. It's funny. It's great. It's awesome that that happened. It's awesome that, okay. Okay, bye. Trying to deal with that awkward piece of, um, what is it? That like, piece of fabric from my sweater that got stuck in the sunglasses that I didn't notice. I'm trying to deal. That's annoying.